Hey guys, uh, this video I'm going to talk a little bit about the benefits of carrying an expandable baton uh, in your car or on your person, okay, out in public on a day-to-day -day basis, okay, uh, the why and the why not, okay, so this, we're going to talk a little bit about that. A couple of things here, I've got an expandable baton here, okay, and I've got a, uh, a straight baton. Oftentimes, this is going to be just generally speaking for defensive purposes. Oftentimes, depending, there's some variables there, right? The materials and the density, so on and so forth. But oftentimes, it's going to be a better tool. Why? It's just going to have more mass in it because I don't have something that needs to be able to collapse in on itself, like an expandable baton. There's typically three sections in an expandable baton, and each section has to close into the other. However, that is not going to be a, um, a practical EDC tool, right? Something that's going to be, maybe I've got space in my car to keep something like that, okay? um, maybe I don't. And uh, if I'm you know, in a place where I feel like it's necessary and I do this in some parts of the world myself, having an expandable tire, something I can keep in my bag, in my pocket, okay? uh, in, in my belt line. So um, again, another uh, argument for having an expandable baton. Right, just like a folding knife, right? I'm a big proponent of fixed blade knives for defensive purposes, but a lot of times it's just not practical to carry on your person every day, um, depending on certain variables. So folding knife is able to fold in on itself, it gets much smaller, much lower profile, and it's easy to carry every day. So there's, um, you know, re why we're addressing expandable batons in particular. A lot easier to carry, okay? Um, training, okay? You don't just carry a baton, just like I don't recommend anyone just buy a gun and say, I'm good to go, I'm ready to defend myself. Training, guys, it's essential. Okay? Um, you've got to have good training, not just training, but good training, okay? uh, which is one of the reasons why we developed the Tricom um, Expandable Baton Program. Okay? We put some good training out there so people can become competent in the use of an expandable baton. Okay? Um, something I want to warn you about are the legalities of carrying these. Okay? Don't do it if it's not legal, okay? Don't have one in your car, don't have one in your person, um, if it's not legal to do so where you are or where you live, okay? Now, um, one glaring example is the state of California. Very strict laws on carrying these things around. From what I understand, they're, 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 uh, it's even a felony to have these out in public. Um, don't, uh, you know, fact check that, but uh, I do know that um, California does have strict laws on expandable batons and it may be the same in other cities other parts of the country or of the world where you live so keep in mind the legalities but also keep in mind especially with good training hey, if you train filipino martial arts and you're training with sticks or batons all the time but you don't have one available for defense guys you know make sure you got one okay because um, all the training is going to be for naught if you need it and you don't have it okay so Few reasons, few arguments for um, having an expandable time in your car and your person uh, available for self defense purposes. We could add on to that, but keep this short and concise.